Hi, I'm David Blattner from creativepro.com, and I have a document here that has some blank pages in it that I want to get rid of. Now, there's no delete blank pages feature in Acrobat, as far as I know, but there is a really cool way to add your own features into Acrobat, and that's based on scripting. Now, I don't know how to script Acrobat, but I do know how to copy and paste. So I want to show you how you can copy a script that I found on the web into Acrobat, run it, and delete the blank pages. It's super easy. First, you need the script. And I happen to have it here in this text file. This was written by PDF scripting superstar Tom Parker from pdfscripting.com. You can find this script in the show notes under the video, or even just type it yourself if you want. I'm just going to copy this to the clipboard with a Command C or Control C on Windows. Now I'll head back to Acrobat and I want to open up the JavaScript editor. To do that, I'll come over here to the Tools pane and I'll type in Java. Now I'll click on All JavaScripts. Immediately up comes the JavaScript editor. I'm going to delete all that text and I'm going to paste the script that I want to run. Note that you can also do this inside what's called the JavaScript console. But in this case, I'm going to run it from inside the JavaScript editor. To do that, I'm going to select all of that text. That's really important. I select the code and then I'll press Command Return on the Mac or Control Enter on Windows. And that's it. It's done. The pages are gone. Did you see that? It was an eight page document and now the four blank pages are gone. Of course, I probably could have done that just as fast manually, but if I had to get rid of 100 pages or 500 pages out of a giant document, this works super fast. Now note that when I say blank pages, I actually mean pages that have no text on them. If your page just had pictures, then this simple script cannot check for that, so it'll still delete it. So, you know, it's not perfect, but it is still super cool that you can add and run scripts to Acrobat that do this kind of thing for you. Well, that's it for this episode of Creative Pro. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. We have thousands more at creativepro.com and at our live annual event, Creative Pro Week.